outside this evening to get some fresh air and Charlotte here appeared and it was funny because she has crawled from over here but the interesting thing is I took too long down in that hole <laughs> another one popped out Let's see if it comes back out and it looks like they were fighting or something okay. yeah, it's down there but yeah this is summer in Texas you are going to see things that you have never seen before never go barefoot outside and I'm literally about three feet from this thing. You see the size of that thing? It's about the size of my palm. I'm good as long as it's outside. Bye-bye, Charlotte. Go back to your web. I don't want to harm you, but nope, go the other direction, please. I'm not going to call the kids because, yeah. Anywho, guys, that's it. enjoy your evening. Do you guys see things like this where you live? Good afternoon. So I am back to share with you our core resource for science this year, our core curriculum. We do have other resources, plenty of science resources already in our library, but for our core, this is what we are using. And if you did not get a chance to see the giving you free resources, homeschool resources video, go back and watch that video. I shared a PDF file, a direct file, for all of the grade levels for Science Fusions. Awesome, awesome curriculum. So we use it online as well as the um, actual textbook. I prefer um, to have the kids on the, in the textbook than online, but um, it, you know, it works either way. It just depends on what we're doing and the time and, um, of course, the attitudes. <laughs> so, I'm going to give you a peek inside this book. So here's the book. Soft cover book. Okay. So there's what it looks like. STEM activities throughout the program. labs, virtual labs, and this is what it covers, senses in unit one, how do scientists work, technology for unit two, unit three is animals. Unit 4 is plants, Unit 5 is environments, Unit 6 is earth resources, 7 is weather and seasons, 8 is objects in the sky, 9 is all about matter, and 10 is forces and energy. And we did not, I was not using a uh, former formal curriculum 
it was just whatever I pulled together and I decided to um, take it this route and just get the book because I had the PDF already because my kids really love science and they love books they love to see the actual book um, there's something about having the book in front of them book in hand that really gets their attention because they can look through the book whenever they want versus having to um, me pull it up online and I just wanted everything pretty much laid out not just um, a hodgepodge I'm trying to get them in the mode of uh, everything done systematically so in order because they have already learned these things some of these things not in this particular order and not in this layout I need it thorough so have your reading here lesson vocabulary so very short readings nothing long to you know they have to really do some in-depth reading just something to capture their attention and the pictures are on point so that's what I like about the um, the curriculum. The curriculum online, I like the pictures and you know the things are the uh, the way it's laid out. The points are pretty much the same. It's just a line. It'll have a picture, and it'll have some vocabulary words that are highlighted. Apply your concepts. Data recordings. They love to do hypotheses. <laughs> so, and that's that's pretty much the layout of the book <coughs> living and non-living here's your stem to build it on your own and like this one we have already done we did this unit online lots to build on here I always take curriculum big or small and put my own spin on it so one unit can turn into um, a week they can do the book work in a day but actually breaking it down turns into longer. So here's a little unit review. And you see some math in here. Of course with math or science there's always math. And there's your glossary. the pages to look on to find those words and that is pretty much it index so along with this I have my assessment guide which includes the quizzes the unit test the unit performance assessments the cumulative test student self-check student self-assessments and answer keys 
So that's what that is. And some of these things we may do, um, you know, I may just actually give them the copy or we may just do it orally. That is and then I have my uh, planning guide Basically it gives you the, the scope and sequence up here. The pacings. So you see unit, unit 1 is actually 22 days. So I like that because it, you know, this is pretty much how we learn. days not that it'll be you know this complete amount of days but like I said it usually extends more than just doing the book work because there's just so much to cover so it's a note section science source if you're not familiar with that and then I have my um, teacher edition and these are both very small there's your grade level there Basically, how I can um, lay it out, how to engage the students, what I should um, help them gain throughout the lessons. Science notebook, which we are using. All of this was purchased in a bundle on eBay for $7. So, heck of a steal. Nothing I have to uh, print out is my unit review answer keys. So, another reason for me purchasing the actual books even though I am sharing with you all free PDFs via uh, my Facebook Instagram um, for me it is a task to have to print out four twins loosely my four-year-old and my two-year-old will also be tagging along so they will also um, get some of these uh, lessons and concepts so it's pretty much for all of the all of my younger children high school is a different um, a different science and I will get that video up soon but that is what we are doing and again I said we have lots of other resources that we can tie in 
into our units but uh, for our, our core I love fusions so if you have any more questions just leave them in the comments don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't followed me on my um, Instagram and Facebook page and I will see you all tomorrow bye